students, today we're going to learn how to use odd and evens to do the minus 4 and plus 4, finding the sum and finding the difference. Okay. If you know your odd and even numbers, like I told you in the plus 2, minus 2 video, you will get this. But you have to know your evens forwards and backwards and you have to know your odds forwards and backwards without thinking. <clears throat> so this is how it works. If you have a plus 4, you're trying to find the sum, ignore the 4 and find the next number, the add-in. So 8 is the add-in. Well, in even numbers, you need to think What's the next even number after 8? Well, over here, that makes 10. But that's not plus 4. That's only plus 2. Because odd and even numbers are 2 away. So it's not 10. It would be 12. Because 12 is 4 away from 8. It looks like 2 away, but it's actually 4 because it is plus 2 plus 2. So if you know your even numbers, your odd numbers, all you have to do is not waste your time thinking of the odd numbers. A lot of students want to go like this. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, if you eliminate the odd numbers, then if you just think of the even for this problem, you'll go so much quicker. Okay, here's a plus four. Find the sum. Three. Well, that's not odd. That's not even, so we have to go the odd. The next odd number after three would be five, but that's plus two. We want plus four, so the next number is seven. Don't waste your time going 5, 6, 7. Just ignore the even numbers in this case. Okay, another one. 5. 5 is an odd number. Well, 7 comes after 5, but that's plus 2. We want 2 more, which would be 9. No need to waste your time going 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 plus 4. Odd number. I know that 11 comes next, but that's plus 2. We want 2 more. The answer is 13. 6 plus 4. 8 comes after 6 when you count even numbers. But it's not 8, it's 10. 4 plus 2. Well, we know it's not um, 5, because that would be 5, 6. We want to know that 2 plus 2 is 4, and 4 plus 2 is 6. You also know the plus 2 trick on this one. Okay, 7 plus 4. 7 is an odd number. 7 plus 2 is 9, but we want 4, so it's 11. Knowing your odd and evens in true number sense, you make connections between numbers quickly. It works with minuses too. 11 minus 4. Well, you know 9 comes before 11 when you count by odds, but that's minus 2. We want 2 more, which is minus 4, which is 7. 16 minus 4, that's an even. So you think, what even number, number comes before 16? Well, 14 does, but that's only minus 2. We want 2 more, which is 12. I'm going to keep going. 9 minus 4. 7, 5. 12 minus 4. 10, 8. 
7 minus 4, 5, 3. 10 minus 4, 8, 6. And 13 minus 4 is 11, 9. But you'll have these in your head. You won't be using a number line like I did to show you how it works. You have to automatically know your evens and your odds to make the strategy work. I promise you. I can't believe the difference this has made just in one year. Some students are already on plus sixes because they've used the odd and even strategy that they're going quick through all of the numbers. So good luck finding the sum and the difference with four. You can do it. Memorize those odds and evens.